Well, Julian Timber back in Arsenal training, and we all know to it that it has been really a worrying a worrying uh, note for Arsenal fans because all a worrying issue, and it has been really tickling them into a very bad way because after he played against Manchester United, Julian Timber never featured into any other preseason game, especially when they are playing uh, Liverpool, that game that ended, I think, uh, 2-1. Was it 2-1 in favor of Liverpool? Then there was another scenario there was another game of Burnley Leverkusen where we anticipated that Julian Timber is going to be back and he was not yet back. Then there was another game of um, Lyon that they played over the weekend and this guy was really missing in action. And after that game, Mikel Ateta was asked on Julian Timber and told us that he's going to be returning on Monday and that is this week. And ever since Monday, we had not gone ahead to get an update from the side of Arsenal as far as their training sessions are really concerned. And now we are here to tell you that the player is back in the training session of Arsenal. He has trained with Arsenal for the whole of this week. And I tell you what, he's going to make the squad of Arsenal as, we as they take on the side of Wolverhampton Wanderers on Saturday at the Emirates. Welcome to this channel. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name and hope you guys are really having fun. Continue to obviously put in the shift as required and do the needful and obviously do what we call the due diligence here into the mix. So, we are powered by Mono Gadgets and know what Mono Gadgets deal in. Mono Gadgets are dealers in what we call all, you know, brand new phones and brand new laptops. You know, even if you want used laptops and used, um, even if you want used laptops and um, used, uh, even if you want used laptops and uh, used phones from the United Kingdom, they will really serve you and you really enjoy them to the fullest. That is Mono Gadgets for you. And I tell you, they're really the best side that you can ever go to to obviously meet all your needs. So how do you get to Mono Gadgets? The number is below there. You can as well call them on plus two, five, six. You get that is the code. Get it very well. You can dial. You can get them well on two, five, six right and um you can get them on plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five all else you can as well go ahead and obviously search for them on tiktok at mono gadgets they'll obviously be <coughs> there to obviously serve the best of purpose that you guys really deserve into the mix we thank god for the gift of life muslims thank allah for the gift of life and may the living true God and Allah really bless us abundantly and really shower us with blessings of the Lord and blessings of Allah. Now, let's start it off with what we call um, with what we call the story of Julian Timber. Julian Timber has been training with Arsenal, you know, and um, yesterday Arsenal happened to obviously come up with some photos that they put out. And this is one of the many that came out and obviously appear him with Mikel Ateta and then with himself obviously trying to obviously do the duels in the training session that was really high intensity and it really called it really caused a lot of stuff where they are and a lot went ahead obviously happen and be put into the goal. So as it stands, these two are really great and they're really doing a very great business in there for you. And Ateta is really speaking volumes about the player of Arsenal as Julian Timber. And I'm going to be really showing you other photos on how Arsenal went ahead to train. But before I take you there, allow me bring you into what Mikel Ateta has to say about Julian Timber. As this season is expected to be one of those that sees Julian Timber break out. And I tell you, the injury of Julian Timber costed Arsenal the trophy because all of those games that Arsenal were exposed at the left back, I tell you, Julian Timber would have gone to be the man who would have gone to be playing into those positions. And that is where the problem came in. And that's why he was a big miss this or the recently completed season of 2023-2024. And 2024-2025 starts with a bang with huge competition as Ateta is now changing the position of Julian Timber to be played as a right-sided centre-back to compete with William Saliba and obviously see to it that Saliba improves himself and really takes himself to the levels where he deserves to be as a player for the club of Arsenal. And uh, 
I think that's great with Zinchenko battling it up with Ricardo Carafiori onto the left. Oh, he anticipated that it's really gonna be huge and beta in there. So Ateta has been speaking to Sky Sports and the first question was posed to him about Julian Timber and his reply was as follows that Julian Timber is an unbelievable player that has already earned the respect and admiration of all of us without playing. That's an unbelievable thing to do after only one season. We are all desperate to have him on the pitch. His leadership, his skills, his composure, the way he completes, the way he competes, his intelligence, I think he's going to bring so much to the team. So this is what Arsenal fans are really yearning for. And that's why when the man was really out, they were like, this is really uncalled for and we shouldn't obviously be really into the mix of... Um, we shouldn't be really into this mix of not really having him because the fans of Arsenal know exactly what the boy brings on the table. And you know, you know, that Ateta is going to hit, obviously, name it out. You know, these are the qualities that Arsenal are missing out if Julian Timba is out of their squad. The leadership skills, one, and we know uh, the leadership, his skills, his composure, his composure on the ball is really out of this world. I really love the player in Julian Timba. And um, <clears throat> Julian Timba is also a competitive player. And his intelligence, his game intelligence is way above the ordinary. To an extent that if I told you are having him, you're 100% sure that these one-on-one -on -one game readings, he's really going to really exonerate your team. And it's, go it's going to be very hard for your team to get exposed. You know, that is Julian Timber for you. And that shows you the eye of Eric Ten Hag on how he obviously identified this player from the academy of uh, Ajax and really um, promoted him into the first team. And it showed you that his brother was a little bit lacking. That's why he's at Feyenoord right now. But Julian Timber was a standout player. At the age of 18, you know, 17, 18, he had gone ahead, obviously, make his debut for Ajax and Eric Ten Hag integrated him well. And that is exactly why Ten Hag wanted to bring him at Manchester United. But the player was like, but the player by then was threatened by Louis Van Hal that if I totally go to Manchester United and don't get into the starting eleven of Manchester United, we are gonna obviously not take you to Qatar for the World Cup of 2022. And Eric Ten Hag switched his attention to Lisandro Martinez. And remember, Lisandro Martinez was supposed to be a national player, but Lisandro Martinez, as his deal to Arsenal was really nearing completion, he called Ten Hag and told him, please, boss, if I'm going to Arsenal, but if at all you want me, I'm here. And Ten Hag ordered the boat, obviously, to go ahead and really get in Lisandro Martinez. And ever since he came in through, the rest is really history. So, Julian Timber is a very good player, and Arsenal really need him to be a variable and fully fit. So, we wait to see how those qualities are really going to help Arsenal to compete for the trophy. And when you look at the qualities of players that Arsenal really do have, that's why I tell you that they are really need they are, they are they are in no need of panic to obviously get in signings because if they can find these players fit, like for the ninety percent of the season, Arsenal will find themselves in a position of really winning the league. You know, if you see those qualities that Arsenal missed last season, if Timber brings them on, you know what is going to happen. He's really going to put in a shift that everyone will be like, oh, this guy is really a special guy or kind of player. Then Ateta was asked another question from Sky Sports that Ateta on Julian Timber being a real proper player at Arsenal. He said, yes, because his teammates love him, he makes them better. The way he coaches, he leads, he's the first one there. He loves the game. He wants to improve. Let's make sure he has the right consistency in the team and is going to have a huge impact. Now, that is no-brainer. For that, he's no-brainer. And one thing I never knew is that he coaches them at that age that he's really having. And he also goes ahead to put in a shift of, um, of really arriving early at the training session. You know, he leads and he's the first one there. So... Ateta is like, this guy is really special and he has gone ahead obviously come out at the right time to obviously come in through and exonerate the side of Arsenal. And that's why everyone is like, this is the guy to obviously take Arsenal to where he deserves to be. And the guy is really doing the due diligence here and everyone loves him at Arsenal. So for me, it is really a no-brainer for the side of Arsenal, right? Julian Timber 
is one of those players that Arsenal badly need into their team to obviously come out and really compete when it really matters most. You understand? And that's what we think Arsenal... That's what that's one of the jigsaws that we think Arsenal was missing in the due course of the season of 2023-2024 that stopped them from obviously winning the title. And him coming back strengthens Arsenal because going forward, he acts a lot. Those line-breaking passes, you might not find him, you might not find Julian Timber putting in lots of assists, but those secondary assists, third assists, fourth assists, you know, he might be the orchestrator of a pass that can result into Arsenal really breaking down a team. You understand? So let's go into let's go into the training session of Arsenal as they really did the needful. And I think they're gonna be training today and on Friday to see to it that everything really comes to pass. And on I think I think on Saturday morning or Friday evening, I'll obviously bring you what we call the how Arsenal players charged for the game of Wolverhampton Wanderers in there for you. This is Kai Havertz and Declan Rice obviously shaking hands and looking at one another. Um, this is Julian Timber as you see him there. Gabriel Magales and Martinelli, you know, obviously training. Ateta obviously briefing his team ahead of the training session at Sobhareli Training Center. That is Martin Odegaard, Captain Fantastic, obviously putting in the required shift altogether in the mix this is Odegaard and Rest Nelson one of those players that we anticipate to be leaving the club of Arsenal and and um, Odegaard who was all smiles into the mix now we're here to see Partey, Rest Nelson, Martinelli, Saliba, Jesus all celebrating I don't know was it the winning team? Wait and see. This is Gabriel Martinelli looking all smiles and ready. And he was really happy and celebrating. I think I'm going to obviously score a stunner into, the, uh, into that training session. Partey. And um, this is uh, Heaven. You know him very well. He plays as a left-sided centre-back for Arsenal in the preseason. And William Saliba after putting in the stellar performances in training. Ben White Blanco obviously looking on and um, anticipating what he's going to be putting up as a right back for the club of Arsenal this season. Then we're having Mikel Ateta looking on at the Sobha Reality Training Center as the players really went ahead, obviously put his duels that he told them into practice. Then Kai Havertz and Lewis Willey, obviously trying to obviously tussle it out for the ball. And Lewis Willey was like trying to obviously attack. Kai Havertz into the mix. And then Mikel Arteta issuing instructions during the deadly training session at the Sobha Reality Training Center. Then we are having uh, Kai Havertz obviously tussling it out with a young one from the Academy of Arsenal into the mix. Then David Raya, goalkeeper signed on a permanent deal for £30 million pounds from, from Brentford to the club of Arsenal. Obviously passing on, passing the ball from the back as you see him there and with the composure included. This is Lewis Willey, obviously taking the ball off Rest Nelson as Tross had really looks on and was like, can you please get it to me after really beating Rest Nelson? That is Lewis Willey, one of the most talented players that went ahead to impress in the preseason. And it said, Nwaneri and Lewis are really going to be part of the plans of Mikel Ateta this season. Then Gabriel Jesus, obviously trying to really impact the game during the side or during their play at the side of um, during their training session at the Sobha Reality Training Center. Then there comes Thomas Partey, obviously tussling it out with Gabriel Jesus in the training session. And you know, these two players are really talented and they're fighters. And when Jesus comes in through to press you, you know exactly what he comes in for. He comes for you wholeheartedly and he's having that heart of a warrior and he's a beast. You know, and these two beasts were obviously taking on one another because we all know to it that even Thomas Partey is a beast in his own making, especially when it comes to his duty into the midfield. Leandro Trossard obviously being pressed by Julian Timber, the man who was um, who was returning to the training session of Arsenal, and we don't know what the results were, but it looked like. Trossard was in total control of that game. By the way, for Leandro Trossard, he has gone ahead to obviously improve himself a lot, and Ateta has a very big headache. You know, I don't know who is really going to start over the weekend. Thomas Partey, obviously tussling it out 
with his fellow midfielder known as Jorginho. As Jorginho presses him and Rice looks on to obviously see that everything doesn't really go on. And it looks like it might be Jorginho and uh, Rice starting in the midfield because I see the bibs in there for you. And I just can't wait to see the next pair of the next pair of midfielders putting on the same bibs into the mix, you know, at the last training session. Zinchenko, Gabriel Magales, and Martinelli looking on down there. And then we are having uh, this that really went ahead to start. So that's all about Julian Timber. And I call upon for your reactions into the comment section below about Timber back in full Arsenal training. And that means it's really a very huge boost for the club of Arsenal. What do you make about Timber's return? And what Mikel Teta is going to have to say about Julian Timber that his qualities that they missed and if at all he really instates or instills them in the team of Arsenal. Do you think Arsenal will stand a better chance to obviously win a Premier League this season and the Champions League? All that and more into the comment section below. Rock and David is my name. Continue to subscribe to this channel so as not miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. We are powered by mono gadgets, dealers in phones, laptops that are really brand new. Even if you want to use phones and use laptops, you can as well call them on plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five. And you can as well search for them on TikTok. Mono Gadgets is the place to be. And they'll obviously see you continue going in there for you. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. Me out for now. And see you when you see me. Bye-bye.